Welcome to Top Car Channel. To the new management of Aston Martin, the DB11 when launched in 2016 was the equivalent of you moving into a beautiful new home, sumptuously decked out in high quality furnishings and fittings by the previous owners and all, in their own way, entirely lovely and blameless. And yet not all of it is entirely to your taste. It's better than acceptable, it's genuinely good, just not quite in certain small but significant ways exactly, well, you. So you end up ripping out a perfectly good kitchen, retiling the roof and installing a home cinema, just because you want to. This DB11 AMR is that house, the DB11 you suspect Messrs Palmer and Co would have delivered from the outset had they been around when the project had begun, rather than arriving when a large amount of its development was already complete. And the fact that the original DB11 V12 is no longer on sale and that the DB11 V8 was far more than simply a DB11 with Mercedes AMG engine rather proves the point. The AMR takes many of the developmental changes included in the V8 package and adds to them its own yowling V12 twist. So, there's not just another 30 bhp for the V12, bringing its total up to 630 bhp for no more than a few additional lines of software. It also has the V8S revised suspension bushes for the rear axle, as well as its own damper tune, a thicker front anti-roll bar, a fruitier exhaust note in sport mode and, probably least appreciated but most important, forged alloy wheels that drop unsprung mass by 3.5 kg per corner and explain why the AMR is actually a fraction lighter than the V12.